Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renata and this is Running in Style. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a DIY Christmas collaboration with a few YouTube vloggers that sew. If you'd like to know who these lovely ladies are that started off the week, please check the description box for their names and a link to their channel. So don't forget to subscribe to them because they're all awesome and they do fantastic sewing. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my project which is comfy cozy loungewear or should I say the comfy pants or PJ bottoms or whatever you want to call it. It's super snuggly and I just love it. It's a fun gift. The reason behind this is because I live in a cold climate and these pants are the thing to do. <laughs> you have to wear them. They just feel so comfortable and it's just so easy to either sit in front of the TV with your friends, your relatives and have some hot chocolate and enjoy the season or just relax and do nothing but they feel good and they keep you warm and that's the key in the winter season so I'm gonna share with you my project I hope you enjoy it and I will meet you in the end for this project you will need a pattern for your pants or if you're working like I am I'm going to be cloning this you'll need some pins marking tool, it can be a pen or a chalk, rotary cutter or scissors, clips, optional, elastic. Now the first thing you want to do is Get your pattern laying extremely flat. One thing I forgot to mention, you also need some sort of paper to trace your pattern if you're not using a store-bought pattern. What I have here is this Swedish tracing paper and I'm going to lay this on the bottom of this pants and then I'll show you how I copy or clone the pattern. The first thing we want to do is trace the back of the pattern and you want to make sure that your pieces are laying extremely flat. That way you can get all the pieces accurate or as accurate as you can. So I'm going to just flatten out right now. going to do a rough draft Okay, so my pieces are laid down. I'm going to go ahead and mark my seam allowances as well as my hem allowance. One and a half inch for the waist, one inch for the hem. For these a side seam and the crotch seam, three eighths, but I will be using five eighths seam allowances there. So I'm finishing marking my five eighths seam allowance on this piece and we will begin cutting. Thank you. 
and flat. So now I will meet you guys at the machine. Hi guys, we're back and now I'm at my machine. Right now I have the front and back pinned at the inner leg seam. I'm going to stitch that. Once that is completed, I'll take you to the next step, which is sewing the crotch. So let's go ahead and sew right now. Both seams for the inner leg are complete now. So this is one, and this is two. What we need to do for the next step is to join the crotch. And I know it looks, it's gonna look really weird, but don't worry. All you have to do now is align a boat together and ensure that this seam is right on top of your other seam. This is the seam that you want to line up right here. You want to line these up. So get them really close and stick a pin through here. Right there. And see that one's kind of coming out off so we can go back through find that there we go stick this through and then you are going to line these up nicely up here and stitch your seam all the way around till you get to the top of the front now before I do any of that, I'm going to use my pink and shears and cut this nicely and I'll take you to the next step. Last pin and you guys can see me. So this is what it's going to look like. Looks really weird, I know. This big U. Nice. We're going to start our stitching. Five eight seams. Get everything lined up really nice, neat, and precise. So before we go to the next step, which is sewing the side seams and casing, I wanted to show you guys the voila moment. Now remember we sewed the inner seam, right? Which was this section. And then we joined them at the crotch, which made this really weird U thing going on here. But this is the voila moment because these are your side seams. 
and when you hold the inner side seams and you pull it away from each other you get this that's the voila moment and once you have those there you actually can see your pants come together like this so you see it comes together like this voila I went ahead and I used the pinking shears on all the seams the waist and the hem because it's not going to fray and all I'm doing is making one full for an inch and a half and leaving a small space about about an inch so that my elastic can go through so my elastic is three quarters inches wide and I'm going to fold this about an inch and a half now I am eyeballing it you do not have to do this so I'll give you guys um, a better view of this scoop this pin out of there This is a stitch that's going to stay and I need it to be strong once I put my elastic through. So there we go and um, we're on the home stretch here. So we have one last thing to do and that is to get our elastic inside of our casing. Now I have a buttkin here, however you can use a safety pin to clip onto your elastic and if you are concerned or you're not sure how to measure your elastic, all you have to do is just take a measuring tape. Um, or anything like a string and wrap it around your waist and probably eyeball an inch to an inch and a half depending on how much stretch your elastic has in it to, to make sure it can go around your waist easy as you can see this one has a lot of stretch so I'm going to insert this in the opening that I left in my casing and just Pass that through. Make sure that you do not twist your elastic, especially after you've sewn it. Just make sure it's straight. Okay, so once you have ensured that the elastic is all the way through and it's smooth, there's no twist, just pinch these together, take it to the machine, do a few back stitches forward back you want to secure this really good so let's just do a few stitches Make sure it goes in really nice and smooth right there and then we have a little elastic there for us to get in there you have it the elastic is in place and now I'm going to close this the space that was left in the casing to allow the elastic to go through. Do 
a little back stitch and then stretch your And now you're just going to go through your project and look for any thread that has no place on your project and snip it, get it out of the way. Let's get all those threads out. Because when you're giving a present, you don't want to have threads hanging out. You didn't just make this two seconds ago. It took you a long time to think about this project. Okay. There we have it. Some comfy, cozy little bottoms. Looks pretty good. Feels cozy. Now, all you need to do with this project is find a cute little box to wrap it up in. I hope you like that video. I have never done a tutorial before, so please, if you have any recommendations, let me know. But I try my best to be as detailed as possible and to be as informative and clear and precise as I could. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. And I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season right around the corner. One more thing, do not forget to check out my up coming red dress reveal as well as all the other wonderful youtubers that are taking part once i post that video i will leave the link in the description box so until then have a wonderful weekend bye